Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Winters, and today I wanted to talk with you about the urine toxic metals test. If we've suggested that test for you, it's because your health history and your functional assessment questionnaire that we use has all pointed toward heavy metals as being a possible problem for your health. The functional assessment questionnaire scores different symptoms from different body systems and lets us know what systems are malfunctioning and where would be the most appropriate area to test to try to get a road map to help you recover your health. Now the picture I have on the screen is a gentleman we worked with about five years ago or so and it was really our first introduction to the urine toxic metals test. And this gentleman as you can see had severe loss of muscle mass. He had an autoimmune condition that was attacking his muscles and when we first saw him he lost over 50 pounds of muscle. And the doctors in the hospital kept saying we think you've been poisoned but we can't figure out how, we can't figure out why and of course they gave him high doses of steroids which he needed at the time to, to even keep alive and to keep any function left in his body. However, they did things like blood levels of lead and mercury and urine levels of lead and mercury and they couldn't find anything. When we tested him we did a test called the urine toxic metals test and it's a challenge test meaning we give the person an agent which binds the toxic metals and then we see what comes out in the urine. And the reason we need to bind the metals and then see what comes out in the urine is because metals don't stay in the body very long or in the bloodstream very long before they go deeper into the tissues. So once you've had an exposure to lead or things like that, unless you catch it within a couple of weeks, you're not going to see much change in the blood levels and vice versa. The urine levels also without a challenge or a binding agent won't show that much. So we did the urine toxic metals test with him and got a roadmap to recover his health. Now you may not be able to see all the wording on this test, but this was his test and you can see the big spike over here and that was the high level of mercury and he also had elevated levels of lead and nickel. And knowing that, we could know how to help get those metals out of his body and help recover his health. And so it gave us a fantastic roadmap for doing that. And it takes time of course, but you can see nine months later his picture, this is amazing difference in his health and he actually was a healthcare professional from California that came here to be in the hospital and he's back in California in practice today. Now recently, so I'm just sharing with you what difference this kind of test can make. Recently I just did a test on a person who has Lou Gehrig's disease or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis and we found high lead levels for them. And just this morning I went on the internet and found a couple of studies correlating lead levels with ALS or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. So by doing these kinds of tests we can get a road map on what areas we and specifically what uh, metals need to be detoxified from your body so that your body can function better and that you can have a better chance of regaining your health. So I'm not going to go into the details of exactly how we do this test today. We can cover that in the office with you. However, I just wanted to give you the reasons why we do this test and what kind of difference it can make for somebody's health by having this information. So I'm Dr. Michael Winters, Winters Wellness Center, Paducah, Kentucky. Thank you.